Welcome to the Deals Healthcare Deal Making Symposium. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn, and I'm here with Vicki Gregg, who's the President and CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield Tennessee. Vicki, I'm fascinated by your career path. You began life as a nurse, is that right? That's right. So how do you go from being a nurse to being CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield Tennessee? Well, the uh, short story is, started out as a nurse, clinical, uh, working in the emergency department, ultimately moving into renal dialysis, and then made a career move into hospital administration. As a nurse, you know, you become a little bit frustrated with the decision makers, so you think somehow if you can move into the decision making role, perhaps you can have some influence. Um, I got into the hospital side, but in the mid 80s, the company that I was with called Humana actually moved into the managed care world, and I was given an opportunity to move in to um, that particular space. And quite frankly, for me at that point in time as a woman, I could see a lot of barriers on the hospital side. There were a lot of men that had been around for a long time, and I saw managed care as a new space opening up and perhaps a place where a woman, and in particular one with a clinical background, could emerge. So I moved into the managed care division of Humana in 1985, and uh, sort of the rest is history. And do you feel like that background as a clinician helps you make your decisions today? I think it is invaluable. Uh, it really helps you to think about and understand as you put things into place, how does it affect real people? How does it affect patients? How does it affect those clinicians who are really trying to do the best they can by patients? And as you think about solutions, are they really practical and can they work in the real world? So absolutely, I think it's a real strength. Well, one question I'm curious what you'll think about is the um, role that the presidential election is playing this year and, and how health care reform may change the deal-making landscape. Well, I think health care reform certainly is on everyone's mind, and we've certainly seen it play out in some of the debates. So as we think about what, what uh, the future will hold, regardless, actually, of which candidate uh, ultimately is elected, you think about the pushes and pulls first around the uninsured, and what are the programs and policies that are going to affect that? Will there be expansion programs, for example, coming out of the federal government? Will there be new money that can come to the states for expansion programs? And if so, what are the opportunities there? We're involved actually in a program uh, in Tennessee called Cover Tennessee, where the state's actually subsidizing coverage for the uh, low-income working poor so that they can get health care coverage. I think also it, it uh, causes you to think about what are the great enablers that will allow us to get our arms around medical trend because there's no question that medical trend is the key driver of many of the issues that we see in the country both in terms of federal and state budgets and the ever-increasing piece of those budgets that health care is taking as well as with employers so you begin to think about what are those solutions be they from the perspective of consumerism and how that plays out as well as what are the enablers health information technology for example that can make those things happen what role do you expect healthcare IT to play well I see health information technology as really the enabler when we talk about trying to have more personal responsibility enabling consumers we know that we are going to have to have a lot more information and a lot more um, access to to that kind of information that can help you make decisions and how we do that is going to require a very robust information technology platform that we can work off of. Likewise, I think on the clinical side, as we begin to think about things like comparative effectiveness and knowing what really works and what doesn't, and how do we deliver that information at the clinical level to that physician or that nurse practitioner who is seeing people right on the ground, how do we put that in their hands at the point of care? Again, I think a robust uh, HIT system is going to be a key part of that solution. Thank you very much, Vicki Gregg from Blue Cross Blue Shield, Tennessee. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn with The Deal. Thanks for watching.